In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a practice level of a simple ball game. Uh, it's a practice level because there's no timer, no time limit um, and there's a limitless number of balls you can practice with. As the balls go through the holes they, the level is automatically restarted and if the ball falls off the board it's restarted as well so you can practice forever when you want to finish you can press the escape key as normal but you can also press the Q to quit and that will take you out of the game I'm going to use a file created in a previous tutorial as my starting point I had cylinders that when the ball goes through them a near sensor sends a message uh, the subject of which hit 5 well I'm going to delete that because I'm not going to use messages I'm going to add a Python controller and start a new Python script and I'm going to type in import BGE which all your scripts must start with and I'm going to put bge.logic.global dictionary I'm going to use the global dictionary now to pass the score between objects and to maintain the score and when it goes through the 5 I want to add 5 to the score it's a top tip to always put color coding on it puts strings in brown and numeric data in blue reserved words in purple and does basic validation of your script uh, it's also most probably worth putting line numbers on so that if you do get errors you know where to look for them now we need to connect that up so we need to give it a name I'm going to call this add5.py and we need to connect that up we need to do that for the cylinders that add 10 to the score so I'm just going to copy that code uh, select one of the 10 cylinders um, start a new script paste and change that to 10 and call that add 10.py and we want to get rid of the message add a python controller connect all that up add 10 and the same for the other cylinder get rid of the message subject of which was hit 10 add a python controller connect that up to add 10 and connect that up Just to recap, when the ball went through the cylinder it used to send a message hit 10 but now it uses a Python script to add 10 to a score property which is now stored in the global dictionary object. Now that message hit 10 was sent to this object which is an empty. It had message receiving sensors so if it received the message hit 10 it would add 10 to a score property the empty has a score property and that is displayed in the debug area now I'm not using messages now so I'm going to remove all these logic breaks and to replace them I'm going to add an always sensor and a Python controller and I'm going to start a new Python script and what goes in the script the code is too long to type in from scratch so I'm going to copy it from the finished file and paste it in now if you use um, the script templates and the game logic basic template you get 
a definition of a main function uh, and these lines of code and then the calling of the main function. To that I've added definitions of two functions, an initialize function that uh, is run once and an update function and the code in there is run every frame and here we are calling those two functions. If not in it in own, checks to see if the owner object, which is the empty, has a property in it. If it hasn't, it creates the property by assigning a value to it. And that if statement ensures that the code in the initialization function is run only once. This line is similar. If not score in BG Logic Global Dictionary checks to see if there's a score property in the global dictionary. If there isn't, it creates it and initializes its value to zero. Now we need the if statement to prevent when we restart the level that being initialized again and reset to zero. In the update function, this if statement checks to see if there's a positive pulse from the always sensor, which there will be every frame. And it copies the score from the global dictionary into uh, a property which should be score of the owner object which is an empty. We need to give the script a name so I'm going to call it update score dot py and we need to connect all that up and now we should be able to test it. So start the game, I'll go for an easy five points and see if the score updates and it doesn't so I'm pressing escape to get out of the game engine now I need to, if I haven't got the system console toggle it on and looking at the error message I've spelt global dictionary wrong so I need to go to those scripts and put the L in and the add 5 one. Now if we start, go for the easy 5, I get 5 points, the level resets but my global dictionary remembers the 5 and now I've gone up to 10. I'm going to stop there. In part 2 of the tutorial I'll show you what to do when the ball falls off the board. Amongst other things, I'll put all the files at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. 